the Brio system is wonderful to grow your herbs, such as mint or basil, or even tropical plants. But recently, a customer asked me, says, Robin, can you grow a bonsai tree in there? So I've tested it and researched it and found that the Ficus ginseng is a little bonsai tree that enjoys a humid environment, but not too wet, which the Brio 35 provides with its unique flood and drain system. So check out some of the little steps I took to build my new layout. The first step in creating your new layout, remove the aquarium, basket, and the plant bed from the Brio system. Place them side by side. This way you have an overall view of your layout so it can flow from the aquarium to the garden. Then rinse the expanded clay provided with the Brio system and place it into the plant bed. When I do a Brio 35 setup, I'll generally use the Seacamp fluorite gravels, which I find they have a nice texture, a nice color, and they provide great nutrients for the aquarium plants. I'll fill in two-thirds of the aquarium basket with unrinsed gravel. Then the rest of the 7 kg bag, I'll rinse thoroughly till the water is clean. Then I'll use that clean gravel to put over the one-third left of the aquarium basket. And once the aquarium basket is placed inside the aquarium, I'll use that rinse gravel to put at the bottom of the aquarium. Now I've removed the Ficus ginseng from its planting pot. Move the earth gently in the water so I do not damage the roots. And I've placed the bottom roots not deeper than half the depth of the plant bed of the Brio 35. This way it will not be submerged in the water. Now I've added dragon rocks which help to support the Ficus while making sure that I have expanded clay all around the roots so they stay moist. And I've planted other plants, such as baby tears, which makes a nice little green carpet and grows very well in aquaponics. I've used again dragon rocks in the aquarium side to create a complementary seam with the Ficus Jensen. I've now used some java moss, which I've tied down in a little bundle onto the wood roots. You can also use some specialized glue to do that. The java moss not only looks nice, but also is great to oxygenate the water, also providing some hiding spaces for your fish. Now I'm filling up the system slowly, so it doesn't fog up, but most importantly, I make sure the water I put in is in between 6.5 and 7 in pH. In aquaponics, you never exceed 7, because the plant will not absorb nutrients or the waste at a pH that is too high. So always maintain your system when you initially when you fill it up or on a regular basis when you do refills. So your water before you put it into the system is in between 6.5 and 7. Hope you enjoyed the video. Love to hear from you guys. You can reach us at brioaquaponics.ca. This is our web shop. You can check out all our specialized accessories for Brio Aquaponics. Thank you for watching.